What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Ghost of Shishima. And today I'd like to show you my farming build I use in game. It's very handy to go out and farm materials. This, it works very well for me personally. Um, you may want to change up a few things, but let's go ahead and hop right into it. The first thing, of course, that I use is the Traveler's Attire. Now, you could use a different gear set if you would like. The good thing about this is you do get it early on, so if you're a new player, you will have this set pretty quickly. Another good thing is, besides the, you know being able to find artifacts with the gear set, you do get that traveling uh, will clear percentage of the Fog of War on map. Now, depending if it's fully upgraded, as you can see mine is, it will give you 30%. I think at the first uh, tier, I think it's 10%. I may be wrong on that, but I think it's around 10% that you get. The good thing about this is you can be clearing parts of the Fog of War on map while you're out farming. So that way you can be unlocking areas, you can unlock fast uh, travel points, that kind of thing. So I just feel this is a very good set to use while you're out farming. Now when it comes to things like the charms I use, not everyone I know is going to have all these charms unlocked. One of the charms that I'm going to mention here in a minute, I don't even have unlocked. It's very good for the, a farming set as well or a farming you know kind of setup. But... The one that I think you absolutely need, that is a must to have if you're going to go out and farm materials, is the charm of Inari. Now this charm is going to be very easy to unlock. I will pop up a video in the top right corner right now if you guys do not have it unlocked to show you where to get it. And it's very simple to get. You can get it in Act 1. And this charm will increase supplies, predator hides, bamboo, and you would gain from collecting. So not only are you going to get the, you know, the percent that you pick up, you're going to get a bonus amount on top of that. So you're going to be able to farm double the amount of supplies, predator hides, bamboo, and you would. So this is a very good charm to have if you're going to go out and farm. And in my opinion, is a must-have out of all of these that I have equipped. Now the rest of these are going to kind of be, I guess, up to you. You could change some of these out. I will explain why I'm using these. I'm not even going to attempt to butcher this charm's name. But this does deal bonus damage while at 50% health or less. The reason I wear this is because the Traveler's Attire is not really a combat set. It's not going to give you big or you know increases to your health or you know you know decreases to damage taken or anything like that. So you're going to take some damage if you do get into a fight. So I prefer to have this charm on because if I'm taking damage, I want to be able to deal some damage as well. So that is why I decided to use this charm. The next charm that I want to talk about is the charm of shadows, which will reduce enemy detection by 10%. The reason I like this charm if I'm out farming in an area where there's a lot of enemies around, uh, you know, for them to be able to, to detect me a little bit slower is a good thing. Because sometimes, like I said, you're not wanting to really get into a lot of fights if you're out farming. You want to get in, get all your materials gathered up as quickly as possible, and get done with that. And then move on to whatever else you're trying to upgrade or whatever the case may be. So the Charm of Shadows is a good one to have, in my opinion. The Charm of Hidden Sight, which enemies will stop hunting you 40% faster. Another good one to have on. In case you do alert some enemies, that way if you're not wanting to really get into fights, if you're playing on a very hard difficulty, you're just wanting to go out and farm, not really wanting to get into combat, this is a good one to have because you can just go hide and then that way they will stop hunting you a little bit quicker. Another one you can put on this slot, and that was the one that I kind of talked about at the start of the video that I don't even have unlocked, is the Charm of Silence. How you obtain the Charm of Silence is complete 24 fox stands. I've been meaning to finish this one. I have like three fox stands left to get the, to the 24 once you have unlocked it, this will reduce your enemy detection speed by 15% and increase resolve gains by a massive amount. And that is the Charm of Silence. So you can use the Charm of Silence in any of these slots as well. So that would work very good, kind of, or very well, I guess, uh, if you're going to go out and farm. Uh, the, one of the other ones that I like to use is the Charm of Resistance 3. Now, there is three different tiers of this, of course, 1, 2, and 3. So if you have any of these unlocked, it will help. But the reason I like to use the Charm of Resistance 3 is it reduces all damage by a major amount. Once again, we're not using a combat, you know, kind of gear set. So that Charm of Resistance is a big help in my opinion. And last but not least, the Charm of Ferocity, which gives me a moderate increase to melee damage. I'm kind of, you know, I guess putting these two together, the Charm of Ferocity and the, you know, the ability to deal bonus damage while at 50% health or less. That way, if I do have to get into a fight, I should be able to defeat these enemies pretty quickly. Anyway, guys, like I said, this is a very good farming setup. It's the one I use in-game all the time. And, of course, the great thing about the Charm of Inari is once you have all these materials, you know, you can get a lot of pred predator hides with the Charm of Inari. You can go to your, uh, you know, your merchants, uh, your trapper merchant, and upgrade all of your, you know, your slots you need to upgrade with those predator hides. 
And then once you have all those upgraded, you can turn around and sell those predator hides to that merchant for supplies. And then you can buy other things you may need material-wise from that merchant. So it's kind of a, a really good way, in my opinion, to farm a lot of materials quickly, upgrade your stuff quickly, and also make some other supplies from the sales of your hides and things uh, to buy other materials that you may need. And if you want to know some tips on some really good farming locations, I did make some videos about that. Also, I'll pop those up in the top corner as well so you guys can check those out. But leave me a comment. Let me know if you've been doing a lot of farming in-game. And if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. If you have a chance to share the video, please do. It does help out the channel a lot. And if you would like to check out GT Racing, they are the affiliate here on the channel. They're listed down in the description. If you would like to join the uh, Discord community, it's also down in the description. If you'd like to follow me on Twitter or just check out my Twitter, that is also down in the description as well. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.